Tales of Graysan. So, as many of you know, I was an exchange student in Sweden my junior year of high school, and it was amazing. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm not here to tell you, you know, how much fun I had and how pretty the country was. I'm here to tell you how, on multiple occasions, I made a complete fool out of myself. So on top of being an exchange student, um, I was also in the music program at my school and each year um, they put on a musical at the end of the year. We were going to be putting on Lee Miz. I'm in Sweden, so we're going to be doing the entire musical in Swedish. I had good Swedish social skills, but I would never be able to like play a part and act in Swedish. It was just not going to happen. So I was totally fine with being in the chorus. And I had one line, one line. My line was to run out on stage with a few others and yell, save her. Like, save her, she's gonna die. Which in Swedish, that's redda henne. Every single time, every rehearsal, my friends always had to remind me it's redda henne. For some reason, it just didn't stick in my head and I always had to ask them. It's opening night. And the musical is going fantastic, everybody's doing great, I'm remembering the songs, blah blah blah. And it gets to that scene where I have the one line. And I was ready, okay? I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this my all. I got this line and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show them that I can act. I run out and there's a full freaking audience and I scream, Rock your hand Rakjahenne means shave her. Rakja to shave. I was basically like a Swedish Nash Greer. Running out on that stage thinking I had everything in the bag. I was this cool exchange student doing a whole musical in Swedish and I ran out and yelled shave her. And I remember my friends were just looking at me like somewhere behind the curtain, somewhere on stage, and they were like, what the heck did she just say? At that time, I didn't know what Rokka meant. I thought that I had said, Reddehene. I thought I had said, save her, you know, like, duh. So I was still in character. I was like, Rakkehenne, Rakkehenne. And they were like, Grace Anne, shut up. I'm just like, what are they, like, I am a star, like, w please, I am like, I'm killing this line. Then the lights dim and I go backstage to get ready for, you know, the next number, and my friends are like, you just ran out and said, shave her. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, you were supposed to say, redde henne. You said, rakka henne. Rakka means to shave. And I was like, what? What? My one line. I just, nope, nope, not gonna happen today, Grace Ann. Like, now moving on from that to another time that I messed up my Swedish. I had just switched host families. I was with this new host family. It was our first night together. You know, they made a nice dinner for me. It was really, you know, cute. We were getting to know each other. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a legit addiction to sugar. We were having this really nice meal and I could start to feel like my sugar cravings like coming up. I asked them, when are we going to be having dessert? But I said, Når ska vi ha efterbliven? Efterbliven means the retard. They didn't speak much English. This was my first night. Um, they'd never hosted an exchange student before. So this is their first experience. And I'm over here going, hey, when we gonna have the retard? Yo, I'm hungry. When we gonna have the retard? My host mom was like, do you mean efteret? Which dessert is efteret? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the, the dessert, the efteret. At Grace Ann, you basically, for five minutes, were asking them, where's the retard? I want to eat a retard. I'm craving a retard. Yeah. So. 